Sebastian Pilz, Pfeiffer Farm, Universität zu Köln, Germany. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm here to tell you today how we plan to revolutionize the world of biotechnology by implementing new technologies for microalgae production, making it more cost effective and more environmentally sane. So we start by looking at what are microalgae. Microalgae here in this tree of life, you can see all the black ones are considered microalgae, very diverse group of organisms. They are found in almost all branches of this tree of life. So with this large diversity comes also a large number of applications of microalgae. These are ranging from animal and human nutrition and nutraceuticals over carbon capture technologies, all the way to phosphorus recovery from wastewaters. Now, what unifies these diverse organisms is that they are simple plant-like organisms which need only sunlight, nutrients, CO2, and water to thrive. Um, yep. Now, traditionally, microalgae are cultivated in suspensions, such as you have in this bottle here. These suspensions consist of about 99% of water and only 1% of algal cells. Now, this makes these systems rather inefficient when it comes to the pumping, the moving of this large mass of water, and mainly the harvesting of the biomass to separate it from the water. We can say that this is a true statement. Um, what in the new alternative system are porous substrate bioreactors, which have been developed at the University of Cologne over the last decades. And uh, surprisingly, we can cultivate the same amount of biomass as in this bottle on this little biofilm here. So in the porous substrate bioreactor, we have a densely packed biofilm, which is separated by a membrane from the me flowing medium. And uh, to illustrate this water-saving capacity, here we have a comparison to the traditional, most widely applied raceway system. We can save up to 1,000 times the amount of water by using PSBR systems to produce the same amount of biomass. Um, this is what a prototype looks like as they are being built in our lab. Um, you have these sheets where microalgae are cultivated on both sides. Water is slowly pumped by low energy pumps and uh, is uh, applied by drip irrigation systems to the top of these sheets. Um, at the moment, we are working on industrializing these systems and professionalizing them. Very open to speak to people who have interest in this as well and who have experience. Um, and well, our vision is to place microalgae on the map of biotechnology on the same level as yeast and bacteria already are. Questions, and everyone. And thereby add a sustainable building yes, block the front. to the circular Two questions economy. in the front. How thick is the film before? How thick a film can you use before the light becomes a problem getting the light in there? Um, light does limit. It depends very much on the pigmentation and the species, but. Roughly uh, 200 micrometers is when light and penetration... one more question. What is the environmental impact of the substrate relative to water? Depends very much what substrate... Thank you. Thank you very much. We can Thank use you. paper.